Welcome to Basis News on the 18th of March. I hope everybody had a, uh, everybody Irish, and everybody likes to celebrate uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day, uh, had a good celebration. Although if they really knew who, what St. Patrick was or what this person or team from the Vatican was, they would not be celebrating. But anyway, I hope everybody had a good time. This morning, uh, I got a message from um, a brilliant researcher and person who runs Vancouver UFO, and it's about this video here in 2016. This is an extremely well-informed and extremely important video. It's a quite a long, long one. It's very, very detailed about bloodlines, and the key to this are the Iranian bloodlines and the whole history of how those particular bloodlines have... Um, shall we say, establish themselves right across the world. And uh, it's very, very deep and um, very well informed, uh, very highly detailed. And it really is, I cannot overestimate how important this uh, to our video is, which is still on YouTube. I'll post the relevant links. It's on ancient bloodlines and contemporary power. And bearing in mind what a lot of people know now, in 2024. This is uh, in 2016. And uh, well, Lauren's logo is Lauren Moray in the global nuclear cover up. And it's got a gas mask over Her Majesty. So it's, um, you can just about see it there. And uh, that is something to watch. It really is. I would say it's downloadable. Support the, uh, the site that's, that, that it's putting up and fumbling here. Um, what we're doing is tomorrow we're going to, uh, to give our respects to the family, the Hess family in Norway, and um, it's going to be a few days, and um, it's a real kick when somebody uh, like Anna in your life or anybody's life suddenly goes. I, with me, I have the one who has initiated this conference, and it's Dr. Bisong Guo, and she's a doctor both in Eastern and Western medicine. And I'd like to ask you, why and how did this conference come about? And action. Uh, but anyway, um, after that, I will not be referring to Anna again. Okay, so we have got two main things for bases uh, happening on May the 25th and May the 26th. Uh, we have the uh, Too Hot to Handle Tour and Saturday is the one around the UFO events of uh, Ranch and Forest UFO events. What you haven't been told. And we're going to have a very good day there. We're going to do the UFO trail. Of course, the UFO trail will have the established stuff you'll be told. Uh, Gary Hesseltine does a very good uh, tour of that. This is going to be quite different. It's going to point out a number of things as to why UFOs are of no defense significance. On the 26th, you're going to have uh, the beautiful Maria Wheatley. And Maria Wheatley's birthday is today. And she doesn't look a day over 40. And that's all I'm going to say. She's looking fantastic. And she's with friends up in Scotland right now. Uh, the next thing that we're having, that's on Eventbrite. And we're selling tickets um, it's going to be a relatively small tour. It's really for those who really want to get out of bed and have a walk in the forest and listen to a few things. And after that, we'll have um, uh, probably a few beers in, in one of the pubs or something there. But um, that's all ahead of us. You contact Maria Wheatley for the Sunday and you contact me for the Saturday. Uh, Maria Wheatley is overall a tour guide. She's in charge. Uh, so if you have any other uh, uh, important questions about accommodation or how you sort things out or what to bring or how to dress and where to park and all that sort of stuff, go to Maria Wheatley. And that's all on the Eventbrite site. The numbers and the uh, email is very clear at the top of the description, the, the main bulk description. Right. Uh, in the last couple of days, I firmed up that we are having the summer, the base of 2024 summer seminars will be at Beverly Hall on the 15th and the 16th of June. Now that is going to have uh, a newcomer on the block. She's actually um, been to a few of the bases conferences and she's uh, sort of setting out her new stall, so to speak, and that's Jill Kirkham, Kirkland, and uh, she's a very fine lady and she'll be doing her, her stuff. And I'll let you see her, and uh, it'll be our touchy-feely sort of therapy part of the uh, thing today of the day. 
we're going to have, this is a really important, Deborah Hatfield has been researching with her team of something like 400 uh, um, contributors right across the British Isles. And she is uh, going to be giving, I'm giving her two slots. This is a big deal for her to be on stage or you know, on the stage and live. And this is a very, very unique opportunity to see Deborah and to see her work on all the sorts of different things which have been going on in the British Isles for, I think, something like 30 years on her research. She's absolutely dedicated and wonderful. Uh, basically Sasquatch um, and a lot of those other types of things. And uh, she's, I'm giving her really the whole afternoon. P potentially uh, Maria may drop by and sort of break that up. But uh, the next lot are a couple of Welsh, really good Welsh people. Uh, one is Jeannie Reban or Jeannie Reban, Rebane, uh, and she has got a brilliant onstage uh, presence. She's presented to uh, at this Swansea UFO Society or SUFOS, yeah. And um, also Mark Rayworth. Mark Rayworth's got a lot of pretty well unknown and obscure uh, UFO uh, sightings. This is one of the main things I have a really big complaint about. Uh, uh, you know, the um, either it's Roswell or everything's cold to Roswell, or, um, or 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 Rendlesham Forest. So this is about, uh, he's got a lot of very, very good uh, material, uh, a lot of very good material. And then uh, we're gonna have something really serious which is already being suppressed on BitChute. And we'll just say it, it will include Sandy Adams either on stage or in the background. And this is about the Betel Goose Nova. Now you can call it a micro, It's you can call it a, a it's called two or three types of Nova. Uh, but the important thing is they're already trying to cover that data up. Now the magnetic field of the Earth has already shifted past uh, 40, the 42 degree mark heading to 43 degrees. I did read out uh, on a fast blast about the um, cataclysmic polar shift which the United States Air Force has released a document on. This is very serious but if we handle things together and we work together, we can all work through this problem. But right now we have those in power who want to divide, conquer, make a fast buck and basically screw the rest of us. So that is, um, that's basically that. I'm sure there'll be a couple of changes. The tickets for the June conference are not yet available until we get firmed up with some more descriptions and what the speakers are actually going to deliver. And um, that's it. And uh, I'll be off to give my respects to Anna, and that's it.